In order to return your Xbox 360 back to factory default, you're going to first need to locate the serial number which is unique to the console. From the Xbox 360 dashboard, we need to go up to My Xbox, and then across to System Settings. Within System Settings, there are a number of options. The option we need to choose is Console Settings. We then need to scroll down to the option called System Info. From within System Info, you should be able to locate the console serial number. Note this number down on a piece of paper and then click the back button. We should be again returned to console settings, so we need to click the back button one more time to return to system settings. We now need to choose network settings and we will be shown all of the available networks that the Xbox 360 can see. You will see that there are both wired and wireless options available. Choose the option with a tick in the top right hand corner. Within network settings you will see an option called configure network. Choose this option. You will see a window with two tabs. Choose additional settings and then go down to restore to factory default. You will now be prompted to confirm that you wish to return to factory defaults. Choose yes restore factory defaults. When you are returned to the configure network screen you will notice that all of the options are now marked with not set. We can now return to system settings by clicking the back button multiple times. Now from within system settings go to memory and highlight hard drive. Of course the hard drive is where you've been storing all your game saves, all your demos and your gamer profiles. So we need to now click on the device options button and then select format and when prompted we need to confirm that we wish to format our hard drive. We are then asked to enter the serial number of the Xbox 360. This is just to confirm that we do actually wish to wipe the data from the hard drive. When you've entered the serial number choose done and the hard drive is automatically formatted. If your Xbox 360 also has a memory unit, you're going to need to select this option, choose device options, and then the format option. Again, you'll be prompted to confirm that you wish to format this particular device, so you choose yes. Once the memory unit has been formatted, you'll be returned back to storage devices. So click the back button to return to system settings then go down to the initial setup option and when prompted choose yes to run initial setup. Your Xbox 360 will now restart and you'll be presented with the initial setup screen that you first saw when you switched on your Xbox 360 for the first time.